Hi everybody, PJ here and we're in Kingston upon Hull uh, and we're at a company called James E. Smith. It looks like it's a timber merchant. Loads of timber all over the place. Uh, forklifts, trucks and everything so it could be quite interesting. Let's go and have a shifty, shall we? Yep. You want to yeah. You want any spare cash? I might have. You might have? Yeah. Come on then, let's get some out. Share and share alike, you know. I take it this is a timber merchant. Timber importers. Oh, they're importers. Where do you get all your timber from then? Sweden? Norway? Oh, is it a secret? Secret. I bet if I went on your website, I'd be able it's to find you. out. Yeah. yeah. But you can't tell me. Why is that? Uh, I don't buy it. You don't buy it? Oh, yeah, okay. It's a big place, isn't it? You got sawmills in there as well, I see. Yeah. Because that's what these trailers are for, isn't it? They collect all the sawdust from the sawmills. Yeah. So, do you export all over the country? Or just local? You don't know, you don't sell it. I am the sales rep. You what, sorry? I am the sales rep. You're not the sales rep? No. Alright, so what do you do in here then? Production manager. Production manager? So you've got an important job, you should know all this shit then. All this stuff. Hey? I'm just quizzing him about the place. Alright, oh, what's that then? Oh, I make uh, videos for social media. Right, okay. And I've just done Cranwick down the road. And uh, your place looks interesting because you've got some nice side loading fork trucks. You've got your trailers there for collecting all sawdust. Uh, and you've got a yard full of timber. Oh yeah, well I, I like to think so. You what, Sarah? So, so, so what, what's, what's the point of that then? What's the point? Well, uh, I make these videos, stick them on social media and believe it or not, people watch it. And okay. I get a shilling or two out of it. Right, okay. But he's got some spare cash and he said he weren't giving me any. <laughs> Which I think is absolutely bloody mean, what do you reckon? Well, it's a bit like that. Are you going to spare cash? Well, I'm, I'm not, mate, I'm skinned. Wife yeah. <laughs> I have a wife that likes to spend money. Yeah. She might say this. Yeah. <laughs> she spends all your dosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> they can be good at that, can't they? They sure can. Yeah. And I bet you got kids and all. What do you want? My kids are worse than than, um, than my missus. My missus is very good actually. She doesn't spend all my money. She just gives it all to kids. You know, they'll phone up and they say, Mum, I'm nearly out of petrol, have you got a tenner? And she gives them 30 quid. Well, that's what they're doing, isn't it? Yeah. So then I'll say, Hey, old love, what, are you your Brad then, are you? No, I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Brad's walking around in there with no air defenders saying, Brad, Who's got my bloody air defenders? It's what we recycle. You what, sorry? We like to recycle. All right, you like to recycle. I take it Brad's no, not here any longer, then? No. Brad. So, Brad. So, he, he, packed, oh, it, he yeah. packed him because he was going deaf because he'd not, got no uh, air defenders. No, that's not the case. All right, OK. <laughs> did, he, did he jump or was he pushed? You're not prepared to say, I no, understand. I'm not prepared to say, that's better quite common than anything. Left <laughs> <laughs> on a mutual agreement, didn't you? Yes. So I was just asking uh, this young man here, Mr James E. Smith, Northern, where you get your timber from? Comes from all of it. It's funny, isn't it? You've all got the same... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he's not. You've all got the same name, so when somebody shouts James, they all turn round. Eh? Right? <laughs> Not particularly now. <laughs> not particularly now. What's your first name? <laughs> I'm Pete. I'm not prepared to say. Well, that's a real strange name I'm not prepared to say, but I'm Pete. <laughs> Alright, right, Pete. Nice to meet you. Alright then. Right. So it comes from all over. I bet it's Norway and Sweden and places like that, a lot of it, innit? That's where most of the things come from, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's basically... Well, in Scandinavia, Baltic states are all your... Uh, the, I tell you, it comes in docks here in Hull and then it's transported to yeah, you, Yeah, it, it comes from all over. It comes, it comes from... Um, yeah, Hull docks, some of it coming from Immingham and coming... 
Yeah. It'd be daft to fetch a tin at Southampton, it, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. <laughs> But it depends where the shippers, it depends where it all buys it in and where it's shipped from basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you, do you sell it all over the country or is it mostly local? Yeah, we will sell anywhere basically. Builders, merchants? Yeah, anyone. Anyone, anywhere. You know, anyone that wants timber so, or in the market box. Can Joe Public come in and buy timber? No, we don't sell to public, not the trade. Right. So you don't sell to anyone then? Not, not a public <laughs> Well, you just told me you we, just we told sell, me you sell to trade, anybody. Yeah, in trade, not in ah, trade. Ah, right, okay. Do you know, he's, he's giving me a load of bull here, isn't he? Eh? <laughs> Do you know? No wonder how much he spends all <laughs> your money. Is right. there? Okay, I'm doing a... You're going in? Okay. What, can, can you tell me out about it then, while I'm here? Who's this Justos? Is that this company, or is that who you're selling to? It's just timber. It's just brands of timber, it's just, just great. It comes from different companies have different brands, so you, you brands are different too. I've like Story and so, and you have Allman. And, uh, so how many saws you got working in there then? We, we, have, we have a variety of machinery and, and, um, and machines. Does it just saw or does it saw plane? Um, yeah, yeah, a bit of everything. Saw, plane, sewing, machining. That's what we do. We do, um, a bit of everything. So you'll get the raw timber in and you'll get a customer that says I want this, that and other and you'll make it for them. Yeah, as most timber manufacturing, that's what, that's what the timber manufacturing is. Yeah, you don't, you don't manufacture the end product, you manufacture the stuff to make the end product. Yes, yes, we're a manufacturer, so we manufacture components for timber industry. Alright, so do you do roofing trusses and all that kind of stuff? Not directly, no. Not now? So is this your only depot? Yes. What's your channel? Still a big place though, isn't it? Yeah, How long yeah. you worked here? I've been here six years. Six years? Yeah, six years. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Yeah? Thanks for me. He don't think so though, does he? Who's that? And we're no ear defenders. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not here any longer. People, people come over to better things, that's what happens, you know? Yeah. So do you do your own transport or do you sub it out? A bit of both. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you can't get your fork truck driver to drive round a bit, so I'll get some video of him, can you? Oh, uh, what's your channel? You what, sorry? What's your channel? PJ Audits. You did like your timber last year, didn't you, Gold? I did work, sorry. Like your timber in gold last year. I've got a thousand videos on me. You did Legend Timber, remember? Yeah. What is it? PJ. PJ. Audix. Yeah, I remember you doing Legend last year. Where, where are they? Over in Gold. Do they do the sheds and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Subscribe. There you go. Oh, you're a good man. It says you subscribe, look. I'll give you a PJ Audix keyring. Man. And because you know who I am, what's your first name? Leon. There you go, mate. Thank you. you can have a key ring as well. Drop two. Drop two. Have I? As long as it's only key rings I've dropped, I'm all right. <laughs> so how long you worked here then? Over 11 years. Yeah? Must be good. It's all right. It's all right. You're not going to say it's just a job, are you? No. I enjoy it. No, yeah. Enjoy it. Right, I'll catch you later. Yeah, I tell you, yeah, see you later, mate. You've got that lovely smell of cut timber in there, haven't you? I don't smell it. You got so you don't smell it anymore. Uh, used to it now. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, if you went somewhere else and you smelt cut timber, it'd fetch you back to this place, wouldn't it? Probably after a few years. It'll take yeah. a few years. Yeah, yeah. They'll be driving about soon, anyway, so you'll see them. They'll be driving about. All right, mate. Right. Yeah, catch you later. Oh, three nice blokes, could have a laugh with them. I'm going to get one of them now. Got various different names on the timber there. They've got Jutos, Jutos, whatever you want, want to pronounce it. Holman, and then they've got one down there that I can't see that's got a star on it. Oh, hang on a minute. Got another one here with it on. Storenso. Sounds Spanish, doesn't it? Eh? So you've got quite a different, uh, or quite a wide variety of uh, products going out of here. 
I'm going to try and get this fork truck though. You do see them knocking about, but not a lot. Should have just run me over, mate. Are you no, I'm just, I do social media, so, I put my teeth back in, social media videos. Oh, right. And I've just done Cranwick across the road that smells really good. And I thought I'd come and have a look at your place. I bet your place smells fantastic inside, all that timber, doesn't it? Now after 10 years. Right, let's have a walk uh, further around, see if we can see a little bit more, shall we? Can't see inside, to be fair. Which is a bit of a shame. But never mind. Can't have everything. Good looks, charm and wit. He's just a fork truck driver back at his job. Yep, he's getting back on. So we're going to get to see this fork truck having a run around now then. Oh, that's got a good turning circle on it, but I suppose it's got to have, hasn't it? Nice truck. You alright? Yeah, fine. That's a nice truck, mate. <laughs> Not bad. I've, I've messed it up a bit. You've messed it up? Have you messed it up? In kind of green spray blow up inside. Oh dear, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> what caused that? When I sat down on the seat like that, it pierced it. All right. Oh, I don't know. Did you get bollocking? Sort of. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to admit to too much, do you? No. No. That's yeah, a nice. Have seen somebody or? No, no, no. I just make uh, social media videos. All oh, right, okay. And I've just done uh, Cranwick across the road. So uh, I wanted to have a look at your forklift running around and stuff like that. I used to teach people to drive forklifts and stuff, oh. you see. Did you want me to? Okay. Yeah, very nice truck. They'll be getting told now, don't talk to him at gate. Right, so let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five trailers here, all collecting sawdust. Now this sawdust goes off for all sorts of things. It can be made into chipboard, it can be made into animal bedding, all sorts of things. Um, there's a place just outside workshop that collects it all and does various things with it, bags it up and sells it and all sorts of things. It's not that busy in the yard, but I bet they're all running around like little ants inside. Oh, here we go, look. Got two of them running around. They're all going inside for some reason. I don't know, I don't know if there's another door further down there with an exit. So they're going in one side and coming out the other. All right, let's have a walk down, see if there is another exit. Looks like there is. Yes, yeah, you can see there, it looks like there's another exit. And I think there's one further down. Let's have a walk further down. So there you go, look. Running around with timber on. And there's the other exit over there. All right then. Let's see him put this load down. And I suspect he's going to put a couple of pieces of timber underneath so he can get his forks in and out comfortably. All right. No, mate. No, no, just watching. Don't know where he's going. Oh, there he goes. Look, he's going to pick a couple of pieces of timber up. He's going to lay them on top of the timber that's uh, already on the ground. And then it can get his forks in and out comfortably. There you go, he's reaching out. Right, here we go. Hopefully. There he is, reaching out. Now, 
come his forks, watch his trucks level up when he gets it out. There you go. Done and dusted. Right then. We'll just have a quick spell and stick the dread drone up. See how it goes. Right, let's go. Take off. Home point updated. Ah, wow, this place is bigger than I thought it was, look. Got a full yard of uh, timber there. There's the vents for the, um, for the sawdust to come out. And looks like there's, what, three extractor pipes and then maybe four, I don't know. And then we've got some more here as well. A load more timber and then we've got another door. Look how big this yeah this uh, this place is. It's much much bigger than I thought it would be. No solar panels though, I'm afraid. Which is a bit of a disappointment, but never mind. But other than this on the front, there's not a lot to see at all. So it's only going to be a very 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 short drone flight. There he is, good looking fella, look. Right, let's bring the old dread drone back down. And there we are, all the way down. Landing. 